Syrian government forces launched a renewed attack on Dara today, the southern city regarded as a stronghold of the pro democracy protests. According to activists, government forces used tanks, armored vehicles, and smoke bombs in the area. Bombardments also took place in homes and Hama, and more fighting in Idlib and in the suburbs of Damascus. The violence comes as the United Nations General Assembly is expected to take up a resolution on Syria. Today, UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon said that it is almost certain that crimes against humanity have taken place in Syria. We see neighborhoods shelled indiscriminately, hospitals used as torture centers, children as young as 10 years old, jailed and abused. We see almost certain crimes against humanity. The lack of agreement in the Security Council does not give the government license to continue this assault on its own people. The longer we debate, the more people will die. Bond statements come after UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Navi Pillay urged the Security Council to refer members of the regime of Bashar al-Assad to the International Criminal Court for prosecution. In a bid to counter mounting international criticism, al-Assad's regime announced a constitutional referendum. Russia, a staunch ally of Syria, called it a step forward. But activists criticized the move, saying protections in the current constitution are routinely violated by the regime. The local coordination committees, a coalition of activist groups in Syria, released a statement today calling on people to reject and boycott the referendum, restating the movement's goal to establish a civil state based on a democratic, multi-party political system. The United States has also criticized the referendum plan. U.S. State Department spokesperson Victoria Newland said on Wednesday that proposed talks between the opposition and the government on a referendum could not go forward while attacks were ongoing. She urged al-Assad again to step aside. It looks like he's putting forward a piece of paper that he controls to a vote that he controls Mm -hmm. in an effort to try to maintain control. And it's frankly not working in any other capacity, so we don't think this is going to work either. He knows what he needs to do. If he really cares about his people, the violence just needs to come to an end and he needs to get out of the way so we can have a democratic transition.